looks like a smooth operator. You might as well say cheese. Now, did we, Emma? There must be something. I'll give it up, Dad. I was there. He stayed customer side of the counter and left with some chips. Right, well, this will have to do. What are you doing? It's better than nothing. You're a young girl. No, you can't go around intimidating witnesses. It's worth a try. We lodge it with the police. It protects us. Great. So they call him in for questioning, have to let him go and he denies it, and he shot straight round here. He wouldn't dare. They're in a corner, Dad. And I'm the one who get it in the neck. Yes, please. Look, I just want you to know get out. my stupid uncle thought he was doing me a favour. Get out, I'm calm, please. I'm sorry if he scared you. If? I knew not about it. My dad can't cope with stuff like this. He's on the edge. Yeah, and I reckon I'll be on the edge when I get banged up for something I didn't do. You wound David up till he snapped. Oh, he gave as good as he got. You put him in hospital! No, he put himself in hospital. He's a big drama queen. Real men suffer in silence. Good apology, this. Look, I've spelled it out to men. They'll stay away, I promise. Deep have any effect on these animals? I've been in the kebab shop all day, incident free. Yeah, that's because they'll be lying low, in case we go to the cops. Gail, please be on my side. Even if there was something on the tape, it's going to make things ten times worse. I can't help thinking she's right. I'm sorry. Most people... You come anywhere near me, and I swear. No, no, love, don't be like that. I mean it. I, I wanted to apologise. Eh? For what landed it was daft. Daft? You're lucky he didn't go straight to the police. I just wanted to know that Gary was furious with him about it. He already tried this yesterday. I didn't believe him then, I don't believe you now. It's true. Gary even took a swing at him for it. Is that supposed to impress me? What, you said your piece. Poor Gary, boo-hoo. Is there anything else? Just a curly whirly. 40 p. I mean it. I am sorry. And I know Gary is too. Still don't know why Roy wants to take me down suppliers. It's called learning, Becky. There's more to wrong in the cafe than frying an egg. There you go, lads. Smashing. Friday the 13th. Well, you're not superstitious, are you, love? <laughs> There's no superstitious about it, right? My cat fluffy. He got run over on Friday at 13th by an ice cream van. Weren't so fluffy after that. Hey, you'd have thought I'd have heard that uh, little tune they play. Oh, no, you see, that was a problem. Favourite ball had the same tune, so he just ran straight for it. Oh, bless you. Then this other time, right, I'm out clubbing and I find myself in men's bogs. Don't ask. And the bouncer comes in and tries to grab me, but I manage to dodge round him, but then I slip on something and I crack my back tooth on the sink. Can you see that? See it. Oh, how do you crack a tooth that far back on a sink? And we're really drunk. I don't want to speak to me this morning. Things aren't all that bad, then, eh? <laughs> it's not funny. You having a go at Tina's just made things worse. I hold my hands up. Schoolboy error. Schoolboy error? Ah, Gary could go down for this. Even more likely now with that stunt you pulled. All right. Said it was a mistake. Time for a plan B, I reckon. I will like tea to. of your English pounds. Not bad, eh? Oh. Oh, the footballers' wages, is it? Hey, I earned this money through initiative and enterprise, and it's legal. What? Thirty quid? That's six hours work. That's five pound an hour. I won't get out of bed for that, mate. What? Like you were on a six-figure deal with Joe? Well, all right, if you're that flush, you can lend me some of that money. It's Tina's birthday next week, she's 18. And I want to get her some Amazing. Yeah, do you want me to ask about, seeing if there's any nice jewellery hanging around? No, oh, shut up, change the job. What are you two whispering about? Horticulture. Why, yeah? You're talking about the court case, aren't you? No. Although the subject is very topical. Yeah, well, it's banned. I've had enough. Okay? All right. You're interfering with a witness. Just saying hi to a neighbour. Won't bother next time. 
Did you be able to take a pop at your uncle? Of course I did, yeah, he's a meathead. If he comes near you again, you let me know, yeah? I'll tell the police. Well, thanks for what you did anyway. <laughs> Try adding another thousand. Nine hundred, then. Eight, and that is as low as I'll go. Done. Cheers, Frank. Speak later. Oh, ho, ho. got a buyer for all my surplus stock, haven't I? <laughs> I am officially unbankrupted. Brilliant. <laughs> well done. What, does this mean I'm back to work, then? Uh, not quite, no. Um, I'm, I'm talking more minus to zero. I'm not quite in credit yet. Right. Still, it's a start. Yeah. Hey, come on. I've decided we all need to be a bit more positive from now on. So the following topics are banned. The windasses, jobs and money. Deal. And the following topics are allowed. Fantastic girlfriend, <laughs> wonderful daughter, birthdays and presents. Birthdays and presents. Got it in one. And it doesn't have to be much, just a token of your appreciation. Push off. Hey, I'm not here to make trouble. I'm here to make amends. What? The cakes didn't work, so you thought you'd try cash? It's not a bribe, it's a peace offering. I thought you two could have all to do with it. There's loads of places you can go on that. Here, I've uh, printed you some flights off. seen the date. This is almost supposed to be in court. Tell you what, why don't you go yourself? Take some cakes. Oh, come on, you heard her. We'll see you in court. Here at the moment. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, meet tomorrow at the lockup, ten o'clock in the morning. Right, I'll tell him. Bye. So, where were we? You were saying Gary and David were alike. Hmm. Hello, love. Just having a bit of a chat. Aren't we, Teddy? Get out. Hey, there's no harm done. I said! What is it our Gary says? Take a chill pill. Just go, will you, before I call the police. It's, uh, nice spending time with you, Ted. David didn't see him in here. You go ballistic. I was just intrigued. I thought he might be trying to offer a genuine solution, but... He wasn't. Oh, just my luck. He's the first person I clap eyes on the minute I get back. Come on, get inside. Hey, you. Don't you dare block your way in our house again. Who are you to tell me what to do? You're a right gobby little piece, aren't you? Look at you. You're swaggering out like you're so tough. If you come near us again... You're I'll... what? Tell the police? They can't help you. Can't protect every single one of your family 24-7. I'm telling you now, you better not be at that trial. You can't stop me. Want a bet? Bye now. Why not let me pay some of those bills off for you? No. Then you can pay me back when you're back on your feet again. 
still no. These people you owe money to... They're just going to have to be patient. I've had to wait off enough for folk to pay me. Now it's somebody else's turn. Bathroom's free. We're going to make, we're going to make the orange dressing now. Which is... It's all because of me, this, isn't it? My dad's business. What he had left of it. It's all gone because of me. Tina, you don't know that. Of course I do. You know what? I think I should just turn around and say... Okay, you've won. I won't testify. You can't do that. Oh, I can, yeah. What I can't do is sit here waiting to see what we're going to do next. Well, they're not going to do all, have they? Because <laughs> they've had the cops on them and all right, didn't get arrested because he had a so-called alibi. But even stupid Gary's not going to risk doing it again. Right. I'm going to sort out the mess, have a little bonfire. Then, like as not, I shall be joining you down the job centre. Yeah, where all the best people go. Hmm. See you later. Bye, Dad. And now you've got more of a reason to testify than ever. Not just for me, which is what you were doing, but for your dad's sake and all. All right. What are you doing? Don't say anything. I'm just paying off one or two bills for Joe. What, and you've not cleared it with him? Well, he's a very proud man. I think it's best if he doesn't know. What's going on? Um, nothing. Nothing. We were just talking about your dad's debts and what we might do about them. Well, I won't mention it in front of him. Else he's liable to go bananas. Why does he think nobody knows? No, I just reckon it's his business. Never mind everybody else having to put the rotten mood he's in because of him. Well, thanks for the advice. Uh, we'll find something else to talk about. I think you should. Oh, die. Only me. Oh, I see you two are killing yourselves. I don't start till 12. Yeah, no, I don't start till 2010. <laughs> All right, love. What are you up to? Uh, just catching up on a bit of post. What letters? Thought that were a day in art. Bills, mostly. Oh, right, yeah. We know all about them. Well, I think I'll just uh, go and get them in the post while I think about it. Otherwise, I'll leave them lying around and they'll still be there in a week. Oh, right. Hmm. Hmm, won't be long. OK. So listen, you two. I was... Can we just turn that down a minute? I was thinking whilst I was clearing up. OK, so we think we know who it was who smashed the place up. Yeah, the loon is next door. Absolutely, but the police are getting nowhere. They're denying it. So I happen it's best we don't go around shouting about it to anybody else, all right? Because there is just a chance it wasn't them. Never! It's an outside chance, I know, 100 to 1. But what I'm saying is we don't want to go making things worse. I'm the one doing that. No, you're not. So all that matters is that the truth comes out in court. So let's just, you know... Keep it to ourselves till then. OK. Thank you. End of sermon. Tina, you were the only one who can make this right. You just can't keep telling yourself that when you stand up in court and testify, you'll be paying them back for what they've done to your dad. So, any hopes of him resurrecting the business have gone for a button and uh, you've been left high and dry? Oh, that's terrible. What, and the police were was just kids? They don't seem to know what to think, but um, he wasn't insured, so... Well, I'll have a word with Bill, shall I? See if there's any work available, yeah? I'm sure he'd be very grateful. Mm. See you later, girl. Hello, love. All right? Well, I sometimes feel I wash up for a living. It's the fifth time I've done it today. Is that a hint? <laughs> Not at all, I'm just saying. Wouldn't hurt the kids to get their hands in there once in a while. Well, Tina does a share sometimes. I don't actually mind washing up. I had a chat with Jason. Oh, did you? So did I. He seems to be bearing up, doesn't he, after being given the boot by Becky? Actually, I think he should think himself lucky. She seems like a full-time job to me. I don't know what you're talking about, but I do know you told him all about my lock-up. 
Told Jason, you mean? Told him I wasn't insured, told him I'd been cleared out. Well, I was just making conversation. Well, actually, I was doing a bit more than that. I was hoping to invoke a bit of sympathy, see if they might offer you some more work. You do not discuss my business with strangers, right? Jason's not a stranger. There's one thing I hate. It's people's dirty washing being aired in public. That is not how I live my life. I'm sorry. Good. I'm sorry. I know you're proud. It's not pride. It's stress. They've got to me. I don't mind admitting it. <laughs> You know, I'm wondering if it's worth it, Tina testifying. All the additional abuse we'll get if she does. <laughs> She'll do what she wants with Tina. She's like a mother. Well, if we don't stay friends, what's the point in anything? I must want my head seen to blowing up at you like that. I've paid off some of your bills. Oh, you haven't. I thought it best just not to give you the choice in the end. Gail! Pride's overrated. It's overrated and it's old fashioned. Not when you're a bloke on his uppers taking handouts from a girl who should know better. Girl? I'm going to make you a cup of tea. And when you've drunk it, I'm going to wash up the cup and the spoon and the saucer. The saucer? Am I that special? <laughs> you bet your life you are. <laughs> Cat! It's not even nine o'clock. We really have to have hounds of Satan banging away first thing. <laughs> hounds of Satan? Well, whatever it is these freaks call themselves. What's wrong with Wogan? How long have you got? Your mum gone? Yeah, two minutes ago. You're not getting dressed? Yeah, got a day off. So I fancy slobby. Uh, can't do Monday, sorry. M A T E. Dad, don't worry about coming caught. Not if there's a chance of work for you. I'm not letting you go through something like that by yourself. Well, it's no biggie. All she's got to do is say what she saw when that moron kicked seven shades out of me. I'll be there. No picnic standing up in court, lawyers going at you and that. All she's got to do is tell the truth, that's all. All right. Thank you. I'm off for a shower. Look, I'm sorry about that no biggie crack early about the court case. I know you're worried. Tina, you'd be fine, honest. Mm. Easy for you to say. Looking forward to next Monday. I know I am. No, not really. I don't fancy prison, actually. Especially when it weren't my fault. A bit late to play the innocent, innit? The trouble you caused since you turned up. My dad's already on his uppers, and now thanks to his lock-up getting trashed, he'd probably go bust. What's that got to do with me? Oh, please, don't make me laugh. Backing me into a corner, threatening me. You think it's gonna work, frightening me. So I changed my testimony. You don't know me very well, do you, slime ball? I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, of course not. Now, if there's nothing else, we'd like to eat his breakfast in peace, please. How can you two sit there like a couple of eight-year-olds playing video games when my Gary could be facing prison? It won't come to that! Yeah, and how the hell do you know? All right. Just saw Tina in the calf. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
and you smashing up her dad's lockup so only gonna make her more determined to see me go down. Hey, your uncle's only trying to help. Help! You made things ten times worse. What she said. What do you think? She'd have me strung up if she had a chance. Oh, no. Hey, son, we've always known you might be facing time for this fight. That news agent woman made a statement, didn't she? Maybe if oh, I... Are you not mad? Every time you try and help, you make things ten times worse. Can't you just leave it? Look, maybe if I talk to T, no, just no, to... no more interfering, no more messing about. Dad's right. I've just got to take my chance in court. We can't let him go to jail. We just can't. That's it, love. 140, please. Tina not in? No, not today, love. It's all such a mess, this fight that David and I, Gary, had. The thought of him going to prison, it's killing me. I can imagine. Only I know you made a statement to the police and I was just wondering... I think you'd better stop right there, love. But if you said that Gary never started it, that it weren't his fault... That's enough. I mean it. I mean, for goodness sake, never mind Tina's an employee, a friend. You're suggesting I'd lie to the police. No, I wasn't, Alice. You're talking about tampering with a witness statement. No. It's just... I don't know what to do. It's my lad. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. She's in bits. Yeah, she's got a son to blame for that. See you later. Listen, love, um, I know how hard this whole thing's been on you, but just try and bear in mind it'll all be over this time next week. I know, yeah. I just wish I could get on a plane, you know? Run away from the whole flaming drama. Hey, I felt the same when I saw the state of my lockup. But we've got something good round here. Have I? Yes, love, we have. Yeah. Psych like good. Sounds like a big job. But nothing I've not done before. Uh woo, say um two-ish. Yeah, I know it. Uh hold on. Oh yeah. Um yep. Yeah. Right. Sounds great. See you then. <laughs> Can't believe this. Uh. Some developer's got a load of kitchens he wants fitted. Says he got my number from an old customer. Brilliant. Hey, I've got a scoot. I think things are finally looking up. Well, <laughs> mm, see you. Bye. Yeah, lovely time. I was on the phone to that cartwright lad before. Do you remember him? Him that sells the dodgy fireworks? Yeah. He was saying that he had a fight a couple of years ago over a crate of bottle rockets. He only got suspended. You're already on a suspended. Yeah, but he broke the bloke's ribs and everything. I mean, what did Platt get? A couple of bruises. Look, if I go down, it'll be a couple of months tops. Oh, I knew you, Judge Judy. What do you know? I can handle it, ma'am, honest. I can't take this any longer. Come on, ma'am, don't cry. <laughs> yeah, I can't stand it when you cry. Job? But nothing I've not done before. Yeah, uh, woo, say, um... Two-ish? Yeah, I know it. Uh, hold on. Hiya. Um, yep. Yeah. Right. Sounds great. See you then. Can't believe this. Uh. Some developer's got a load of kitchens he wants fitted. Says he got my number from an old customer. Brilliant. Hey, I've got a scoot. I think things are finally looking up. Entire. 
Oh. Leave this! Have you not done enough to me and my family, eh? Calm down, mate! It's what it comes down to. Pathetic juvenile pranks. No prank, mate! I said I wanted to do a deal. And I meant it. And we'll be back in Coronation Street in half an hour. A deal with you. You need work, don't you? <laughs> and you're gonna give me some. I fit kitchens. I don't break people's legs. It's a kitchen I want. Nineteen kitchens, to be exact. Been turning this place into flats. Nineteen. This is a wind-up. You don't have connections like this. Oh, you'd be surprised. So, what's the catch? What's the deal? I'll guarantee you this job. If you have a word with Tina about what she says in court. Listen, you want me to get her to lie? No. I want her to tell the truth. She's already doing that. It was Gary started that fight. You saw that, did you? No, but I trust my own daughter. But do you trust her boyfriend? I trust him more than your Gary. <laughs> I grant you that Gary can be a bit hot-tempered at times. But he's all in working order up here. None of his psycho stuff. Putting David in hospital wasn't psycho. I'd ask Tina again what happened if I were you. When Loverboy's not around, of course. With his hand at the back of her neck, working her mouth. You don't know anybody this big. Oh, I know him. And he owes me a huge favour. But if you're happy to go bankrupt, fine. So Tina lies in court. Tells the truth. Gary goes free, you get what you want. How do I know you won't pull the plug on me? I never go back on my word. <laughs> what, you might trash people's lockups, but underneath you're just a regular guy, is that it? You, know, you don't get far if you can't be trusted, even in my line of work. Ask around if you don't believe me. We'll get a contract sorted. All you've got to do is sign it. We've run out of onions. We need to cross and get some. I'm watching this. How'd you get on? I'm not sure it's a go. How come? Uh, bloke who's running it. What, Dodger? Don't know if I can trust him. Why? Because you've not worked with him before? No, it's just his type. They're a nightmare to work for. They want you to cut corners. Why you care? I've got my standards. Word gets out, I'm putting Ify Kitchens in. Yeah. You don't lose all those jobs that you got lined up. We're only in this mess because of them cretins next door. Oh, that's really helpful. Can't you think... Well, it's true. They started it and they're going to pay for it. And how is that going to help my dad find a job? Well, I don't know. But I'll tell you this much, they're going to get what's coming to them next week. I'll make sure of that, all right? Why are you having a go at me? I'm not, I'm just saying, that's all. <laughs> Two large onions. Brilliant. And a little something to cheer us all up. Uh, can we afford that? Oh, 3 is not going to break the bank. David not around? He's upstairs, showing Gail something on the computer. What do we do before computers, eh? Hmm, don't ask me. I wasn't even born. Still seemed edgy back there. Does he fly off the handle a lot? Now and again. One way of getting what you want, I suppose. Hey, give as good as I get. That's what you were. Doesn't get it all his own way, then. <laughs> You'd be lucky. I'm always here, you know, if you want to talk about this court case. Not much point. It'll soon be over. Talk talk's better than walk walk. I 
I'm, I'm not going to walk. Like I said this morning, I've got something here we're staying for. I'm not going to throw that away. Got you these. Oh, love. What's brought this on? You like chocolates, don't you? Yeah, but... You only buy me at Christmas and birthdays and... It's such a big box. You've not nicked them, have you? <laughs> no. Is it cos I've been upset? Do I have to have a reason? Is it cos you think you won't be here on my birthday? No. It's cos you think you'll be locked up? <laughs> it's not. I can't stay this much longer. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> I didn't buy them to make you cry. My son's going to prison for something he ain't done. I've got everything to live for. Who are you talking to? Oh, what's she been saying? Nothing, she's just a bit upset. Yeah, like we care. Don't start, yeah? Well, the scum of the street have realised they've pushed it too far and we're meant to feel sorry for them. At least we're not lying, scum. Right, let's get inside, I don't want another row. You've been taking us for a ride since day one, well now it's payback time. I said, get in! I'm off up. Oh. Long day's work ahead of me tomorrow. Still got me sense of humour. Look, um, I don't want to press this, but what I've said before, if you want to talk, if there's something on your mind you can't tell anybody else. It's just seeing what they're going through next door. All because of what I'm seeing in court. Well, that's a big responsibility. But, as long as you're telling the truth, there's nothing to be afraid of. That's just it, though. What? You won't tell anyone, right? No. Not even to Gail. Won't breathe a word. It's not the truth. How do you mean? Gary didn't start the fight. You sure about this? I saw him. Gary was winding him up all day, knowing it'd set him off. So in a way, it was Gary who started So fight. why did you say what you did? Because David asked me to lie for him. I'm saying that this way we get Gary off our backs. But Gary did beat him to a pulp though, remember? Put him in hospital. Don't look at me like that. I already can't sleep every time I see them next door. I feel guilty. I tried to talk to David, but he didn't want to know. This'll be perjury if you do what he's asking. But what am I going to do? One step at a time. We'll think of something. Wait. Hey, your problem's my problem now. We'll have to sort this out together. need to work out. You've got a perfect body. Ah, I'm just saying, I don't want to be like one of those Italian birds. Look great till the 30, then all the past of the scarf just goes south. <laughs> quiet this morning. Yeah, i got a lot on my mind. Anything you'd like to share? Nothing you don't already know. Things will pick up, you know. <laughs> Sounds like they already have. How'd you make that up? That massive job you had to see about. It's dodgy, I've told you. Dad, it's 20 kitchens. 19, I said. I'm not doing it. Or can you afford not to do it? I've got standards, David. Principles. Look the word up in the dictionary. All right, it's no need to have a go at me. There's every need, David. 
Your selfish look after number one attitude to life, it stinks. And I don't want it infecting others. Whoa, where did that come from? I don't need you to tell me how to run my business. No, aren't you doing a perfectly fine job of that on your own? You shut your mouth. Stop it! The pair of you! Dear me, I've never heard anything like it. You didn't let him speak to me like that. Where are you going? You've not touched your breakfast. I'll do. Giving any thoughts on my little proposition? I've got a two-word answer. No wonder you're going bust. This is how you talk to your clients. You are not my client. Suit yourself. Plenty of other companies would bite me hand off. Don't play games with me. All I want is for your daughter to tell the truth. Nobody would ever need no. Is that what you're worried about? You can't buy me. Look, everybody's got a price. Yours is dropping by the day. Here? Yeah? I'd sooner go bust than do your bidding. Has the polls been today? What are you talking about? What are they like? Later, every day. Anyway, when it does come, there's something for you. A letter bomb, ransom note. I won't spoil a surprise. Where does he get off talking to me like that? He's under a lot of pressure. You don't think he knows? No, it? not be daft. He's just lashing out with the nearest target. This is exactly what they want. There's a lot of fighting each other. Not everything's about you, David. No, but the important things are. All right. Hello? Sorry I bit your head off earlier. It was uncalled for. Don't worry about it. Where are you two going, anyway? Job centre. I'm off to work. Be back for lunch? Probably. Well, let me know when you decide. And what about you? Will you be here for lunch? Here all day, aren't I? been thinking. All that stuff about David's bad attitude infecting me. It's a pretty lousy stunt he's pulling. Not to mention the strings. He must be pulling them as well. Keep your voice down. Gail's upstairs. Because I can't think for myself. I must be under his evil spell. So what? It's your idea to commit perjury? You've changed your tune. Are you in the council for the prosecution now? Ooh. Glad to hear you're well versed in who the key people in a courtroom are. Only be warned. They'll give you a much tougher grilling than anything I can manage. Whose side are you on? <laughs> Me and David of them next door. The people that trash your lock-up. I'm on your side, you know that. But I can't condone what you're doing. It's just plain wrong. It's no skin of your nose. As long as Gary goes down, that's one less wind ass clogging up the street. I brought you up to tell the truth. And if you don't, I will. I believe you're saying this. It's like you're on their side. You're planning to lie in court. Am I supposed to clap? You said that we're in this together. I know, and we are. Good. Has this got something to do with the big job you're turning down? Warehouse conversion. Very last century. It looks lovely. Artist impressions always do. Trying to get people to buy off plan. Each individually designed apartment will be finished to the highest specification by bespoke interior designers and craftsmen. That's you. That's not funny. Okay. No need to bite my head off as well. I was out of order with David. I have apologised. I know. And if you don't want to take this job, then there must be a very good reason. It's a cracking job. I'd love to take it. Solve a lot of my problems. What? I've got a bad feeling about it. Do you know, most kitchen fitters would do the job and take the money. You're the first one I've met with highfalutin principle. You think I'm daft? Well, who's the developer? Osama bin Laden? We're back. Hiya. Hiya. Hello. You must think I'm crazy. Turning away work when I'm up to my eyes in debt. 
You don't think I'm pressurising you because I want to get my money back? What did you just say? This is a private conversation. Did you lend him money after everything I said? Um, I'll have you know, I'm a very good risk. Tell that to the debt collectors. If you're going to start borrowing cash off me mum, Joe, I wouldn't be so picky about which jobs you choose. Have you got for this? It's a yuppie paradise. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I said that. It's OK. It's OK. Right, I've got to go on meeting Daz. Don't just leave your plate. I've got work in a minute. We'll clear up, won't we, Tina? And if you do turn this big job down, you'll make a very good house husband. <laughs> you selfish, greedy, fat pig! I, I, I thought they were for sharing! No, they were not in an early birthday treat! Oh, Gary! What's going on? If you just leave a box of chocolates lying around, people will assume! Did you assume, Len? Uh, no! Did Gary assume? He's not here, he might, sir. No, only you assumed, and then you stuffed your face with my chocolate! The silicon bull left! Chocolate hazelnuts! I detest chocolate hazelnuts! See, this isn't about the chockies, is it? <laughs> yes, it is. Gary will be fine. Trust me. No, oh, hang on. When you say trust me, it usually means trouble. Uh, will you credit me with using a bit of subtlety for a change? I still can't believe it's took money off her. She did it behind me back. Furious when I found out. You're going out with her, living with her. Oh, it's not right. It's a sign of my commitment. It's a sign that you'll do absolutely anything. It's bad enough you moved in the way you did. At least I'm not planning to stand up in court and lie. Right. It's not a lie. You said David started the fight. Gary's not exactly a saint. David's tutored you to say what he wants because he wants Gary to go down. I want him to go down. Me, Tina. Wh where is all this coming from? Why do you care? I can't believe you're lying for somebody. Hello. Speaking. Uh, did you not receive the payment? Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll get the accounts department to put a cheque in the post. Thank you. What was that about bringing me up to tell the truth? This is different. The shark's circling, Dad. I can smell your blood. I can take care of myself. What I'm telling you, what everybody's telling you, but you won't listen, you're in no position to turn down work. Desperate. I wouldn't be doing this. That mean you're in? I'm in. <clears throat> um, family announcement. You're not. What? She's not. Good. Go on. I'm now officially employed. You took the job. Oh, my gosh. You know, you're caving sooner or later. In principle, are one thing, but if you've got to choose between that and cash... At least I make the effort to have some. I'm only joking. Yeah, I know. I just don't feel great about having to take it, that's all. I think we should all go for a drink later to celebrate. Good idea. How about you and me go for lunch first? Why? Because I want to. Is that allowed? OK. Come on, then. <laughs> That was very thoughtful. What? Well, anybody can see she's stressed out. Just what she needs. A bit of time with her dad. Hmm. Whatever this bloke's like you're working for, just just stay cool, yeah? Bite your tongue, think of the money. Good advice. Will you take some of mine? Oh, I knew it. Look, we've been through this already. If you won't do it for yourself, then do it for me. What? You're asking me to choose between you and David. No contest. I'm asking you to be honest. 
But if you can't be honest, then just walk away. Sometimes you just have to do stuff. Why are you being so stubborn? Why are you? Now, will you let it drop? Oh, give me some more. Yeah, very much doubt it. He's not looking to take on anyone else. Well, you could still ask, though. <laughs> Maybe we should go somewhere else. Yeah. No! We've lived round here for years. They've been here five minutes. Come on. So you not change your mind? Just leave it, will ya? David. You do realise you're in for him of a witness. I won't go that far. On the other hand, if she's up for it. <laughs> David! No, go go outside if you're gonna scratch. You're not. See, this is exactly why my son's ended up in court, because your son can't control his temper. If your son stayed away from my son in the first place, none of this would have happened. Oh, I think it would. Butt out, Eileen. You know what? Gary, this place is full of lowlifes. Ooh. You idiot. You never learn, do you? He's the one that never learns. Oh, I could do without this. It's all go here, isn't it? <laughs> That Gail Platt has been the bane of my life. She is as rough as they come. Row, 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 row. <laughs> You're right. He doesn't learn. Just drop it, Dad. And he won't if you keep protecting him. If he loved you, he wouldn't be asking you to do this. Drop it, will ya? I wish you'd just all just leave me alone. Tina, just leave her, eh? Oh, it's supposed to be a celebration, and now look, flaming wind asses. David, who lost it, not Gary. Oh, so you're blaming him now, are you? No. I'm saying some of it was. Oh, come on, it's always Gary that starts it. And David, who lashes out. Well, maybe this time. And how do you know it wasn't last time? What do you mean? You know it wasn't. Tina's gone. What? She's wrote a note, look. Soz, need to get away for a bit. That's like what happened with me and her, Anna. Well, you gave her our man's ring. Women like that. I think it's romantic. If you'd inherited it, maybe. Not nicked it off a finger while she were passed out drunk. What? What are you doing? The only reason Tina's done a runner is because of these lot. It's only going to cause more aggro. Good. Come on. Wouldn't we be better looking for Tina? <sighs> Said to her. Haven't you been told about keeping him on a lead? If I found out you've hurt her, scared her, or even looked at her funny, I'm going to make you pay. Am I supposed to be frightened? I don't even know what he's talking about. Tina, she's, uh, she's disappeared. Now to do with us. Give my word to Gary and Anna that I'd keep out of it. And I'm a man of my word. What's so funny? If she don't turn up to court on Monday, our Gary will get off. She'll be the one going down. Judges hate no shows. I hope... Tina, please ring me. I need you to back me up in court. You know I can't do this without you. Come home. Please, don't let me down. I love you. Whether you've got me other messages or not, please just ring. Let me know you're all right. Love you. All the effort I put in trying to get her to do one, eh? Should have just left it to you. I'm trying to get her back. I don't want Tina in trouble. She won't be. Eddie's talking bobbins. Murder trial, organised crime with Dilla. Not something like this. People don't turn up all the time. You sort of people, maybe. What do you want? Oh, rubbing it in about Tina. I didn't rise to it. Tina reminds me of my Sarah. Strong willed. Stubborn, if you like. You mean I'll not be able to get her to come back if you don't want to? I can't see Tina caving into bullying, to pressure. Pressure does funny things to people. We don't always behave as well as we'd like. No more sign of his girlfriend. Doesn't look like she's going to turn up. But cheer up. If she don't testify, the Platts have lost the star witness. 
Hey, I know. I'm sure these pants have shrunk. Could be you that's expanded, could it? I can't have put on weight. I've been on the Atkins diet. No, but fry ups for a fortnight. <laughs> Lunch, Gary. I told you I'm not hungry. Oh, and just eat what you can. I've done the mushrooms nice and black, just the way you like them. There's a good lad. I'm gonna be sick. Now, what you've spilled down this? It's a trial, Mum, not a fashion I show. I asked you if it needed dry cleaning, and you said no. Tina! She says, don't worry about me, I'm safe and sorry. Lol, Tina. That's it. Well, sorry for what? I don't understand. Well, if she means sorry, I won't be turning up to court. What's the point putting the lol? Maybe she meant laughing out loud. Joe. How about low on loyalty? Look, Tina's got principles. You wouldn't do this without a reason. What do you reckon, David? Can you think of a reason? No. Unless, of course, it's all my fault. Nobody's saying that. I get beaten up. It's my fault. My girlfriend won't testify. It's my fault. The economy takes a nosedive. The polar ice caps are melting. It's all my fault. scared. Me too. Absolute murder, isn't it? You know, all the times I got away with stuff that I shouldn't. Now I'm going to get banged up for something I didn't even do. You mustn't think like that. You're going to get off today, do you hear me? And when it's over, me and your mum are going to treat you to a holiday. Posh holiday. How's a fortnight in Lorette de Mar sound? You think I'm going down, don't you? Son, I can hardly bear to think about it. I'd rather do the time myself than see you suffer. But if it does happen, it won't be for long. Six months if you behave yourself. What, what six months? About 4,320 hours. Hmm. Use Mum's calculator. Hey, now, we'll have none of that. With the wind asses, we stand tall, we stand proud. Even though we've got nothing to be proud of. <laughs> hey, Dad. Still no answer. Can you believe she's done this to me? Yeah. I meant, can you believe she dropped me in it? I know, and I said, yeah. What are you on about? You asked us a lie for you. <laughs> Who told you that? She I don't believe you. Why would she speak to you? Don't know, mate. Women have always been a beguiling yet unfathomable mystery to me. All right, so I asked her to bend the truth a little. It's worth it, innit? Just to see Windass go down. Right. I once fancied this girl that loved ballroom dancing. She said she'd consider going out with me if I'd be a partner. So we went in for this big dancing competition. First, a quick step. I fell over. Then the cha-cha. I fell over. The rumba, the samba, the paso doble. Yeah, and you fell over. Will you just get to the point? I have never been so offended. Well, you don't have. Go on. My point is, you can't turn someone into what they're not. I'm no Fred Astaire, and your Tina's no liar. Graham, it's like this. You're either with me, or you're against me. Then I'm against you. Right. Right, then. You still fancy going for that pint later? Yeah, go on. All right, see you tonight. Yeah, see you. But won't Tina be committing an offence if she fails to testify? Well, yes. That's what concerns us. Um, I've got a suggestion, if no one objects. Uh, why don't I hang around here in case Tina shows up? I can do that for you. Well, uh, No problem. In fact, I'd be happy to. That'd be a great help. Thanks, Dad. Well, consider it done. like Ted's forgotten. Maybe I better stay behind after all. Are you trying to get out of this? Of course not. Here he comes. Old faithful. 
Looks like your girlfriend stood you up. Gary, stop it. She'll be here, mate. Don't you worry. Just get in, dude. You know, tonight I think me and you've got some catching up to do. I don't think so, pal. Tonight, you'll be spending it in a stinking prison cell. Although I bet it still smells better than your house. Oi! Hey. Yeah, next time you won't get up at all, pal. But why wait till next time? What's wrong with me now? You! In that taxi now. Come on, get in. I hope you know your lad's about to commit perjury. Really? At least mine can spell it. Don't you worry about Tina. I'm sure she won't let you down. Fighting the life at me then. I'm sorry, Tina. Uh, I thought you'd be. You thought we'd all be at the hearing, but I'm afraid they left me behind to act as lookout. If I saw you, my instructions were to escort you to the court ASAP. I'm not going. And I'm not going to make you. There, yeah, that was easy, wasn't it? You're not going to tell them that you've seen me. No. Not much of a lookout, are you? I like you, Tina. I think you're a kind, decent young woman. And I trust you to do the right thing. Yeah? Maybe you can tell me what the right thing is. Being difficult, is it? Everybody nagging me, telling me what to say. It's been doing me head in. Well, when you shut out all the nagging voices, the one remaining will be yours. How does Shakespeare put it? To thine own self, be true. Time to go in. I can't believe she's done this to me. You put Tina out of your mind for now. All you've got to do is go in there and think about telling the truth. You can do that, can you? Come. That's that then. Darling. Oh, you okay? You decided what you're gonna say. I knew you'd come, didn't I say? You knew more than me then. All's well that ends well. <sighs> it's not over till it's over. Oh, who are you? Dial a flaming cliche. Of course it's over. She's gonna nail me to the flaming mast. To be fair, that's a cliche too, son. You just think of us all on that beach in Lorette. Hey? Come on. Gary. Remember what I told you? You're a wind ass. We don't run away. You what? We never do anything but. Shut up. Come on, son. You can do this. Stay here. You cut it fine. You all right? I'm fine. Well, I thought when Len Windass didn't turn up, he got to you. Maybe we should go in. You don't have second thoughts. What? What's she going to have second thoughts about? Well, I just thought with it being late, I don't know. Look. Well, I see the old clan's turned out then. Uh, do you want to go and freshen up or anything? No. I'll get you a drink of water. And don't go wandering off. How much longer is it going to take? I don't know. Calm down. We could be hanging around here all day. I can't wait for that little git to get sent down. Could have sent me a text or something. I needed thinking time. Where did you go? I was worried. Sorry. Dad, don't go about it, eh? I'm sorry. I'm trying not to, but this... Do you know how serious this is, Tina? Yeah, I do. All you have to do is tell the truth. If David's been stupid enough to get himself into trouble again, no. Well, stop. Going on about you, please. Right, I'm going back now. You're coming. What kind of a lad asks his girlfriend to lie for him, to commit perjury? For I'm not going to change my evidence. Can we start the fight? That's that. I meant what I said. If you won't tell the truth, I will. I'll do what you like. I won't let you do this. Tell them the truth. Don't let David make you a liar and a criminal. Whatever I say is my decision, not yours. If you do tell them, I'll never forgive you. And I never tell you anything again. Ever. Now we are. 
sorry, they don't have a leg to stand on. Anyway, you just have to tell the truth. Bill. What's going on? If they see you talking to me... We're discussing Man City and Everton. What's she doing here? I don't know. I've tried to talk to her, but... But what? You're a dad. Put her straight. And David's the love of her life. And she's got very low standards. I've done what I can. Come away. What's he up to now? Oh, nothing. Nothing to worry about. Last few steps of freedom, Paul. How does it feel? David. I should sick you on a trolley and in a mask like from Silence at Long. Stop it! Are you all right? Got worried when you weren't here. Yeah, right. I'm sorry he's making your life ruined. I'm not making you do anything. You deserve better. Going down in a minute. Down in a minute. Stop it! What? Come on, look at his face. on the street and then what happened we kicked off same as always by which you mean we can't help himself as soon as he sees me he just starts shouting bullying making friends if you could limit yourself to the events of this particular day that was it he started on about my girlfriend and how mad she was to be with me all the usual stuff and at first we just tried to ignore him you know hoping he'd get bored and leave it and did he calm down at all? No. He just got more and more worked up. More vicious. I mean, me, I'm used to him, but you worry for your girlfriend, don't you? So I tried to get away. But he stuck his foot in the door and he just flew at me. Like a madman. I didn't get a chance to defend myself or anything. I just remember thinking, this is it. You know? He's going to kill me. It happened really quickly. I know everybody always says that. Don't worry. In your own words. But take it from the moment you first saw Gary Windass. He was, um... <clears throat> he was saying all these things, like he does. What things? How David's a loser and I could do better. And after the words? What happened next? In your own time, Miss McIntyre. I suppose he couldn't take any more. I just want you to tell us what happened, what you saw, that's all. I can't, I'm sorry. I don't remember. I can't say for sure. I'm sorry. On the 30th of January 2009, did you make a statement to the police recording your recollection of events? Yeah. And would you agree that your memory then was probably a lot sharper than it is today? I suppose so, yeah. Would you look at this document? There are signatures on each page. Do you recognize them? Yeah, they're mine. And is this the statement that you made to the police on that day? Yeah. Would you read paragraph four to yourself, please, quietly? Does this refresh your memory? Do you now remember how this fight started? Yeah. But not like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all lies. I mean, not all of it, but how it started. He didn't throw the first punch. I'm sorry, David, I can't lie for you. I'm sorry, you ran up. David threw the first punch. Come on! 
Ladies and gentlemen, quiet. Well, Gary started to, in a way, he was really having a go at David. I told you. No, you don't understand. The whole family have been making our lives a misery. He's just had enough. Members of the jury, I must ask you to retire to your room. There are some points of law I need to discuss with counsel. Would the defendant please stand? I don't understand. They've got to her. The jury's told them to go. I know that, Joe. I'm not stupid. I'm asking why your daughter suddenly decides to call my son a liar. Would the foreman of the jury please stand? In accordance with the judge's direction, do you find the accused, Gary Windass, not guilty of malicious wounding? We do. And is that a verdict on which you are all agreed? We are. No, he half killed me! Got your plan! Order! Order! Get in there! 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 Get in there!